Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to be going over how to add a psychedelic animation to your still images or your videos inside Adobe After Effects. Specifically, we're going to be using the Liquify effects, so no plugins necessary. If you have After Effects, welcome to the world of possibility. ever seen the TV show Black Mirror in the release Bandersnatch, they do a pretty cool sequence where things get a little psychedelic. The main characters take LSD and some pretty funky stuff happens. If you want to learn how the editors kind of put that sequence together, there are some tools that you can use inside After Effects to achieve a similar look. My name's Andy, welcome to my channel and let's get started. Before we begin, let's actually hop into the actual sequence of the film and dissect it a little bit. Clearly some psychedelic things are happening to this wall. When we look behind the scenes, we'll see that there is a mat hanging on a wall with a few lights and the character here. My most educated guess assumes that this mat behind him is actually a green screen. And then they keyed out the green and inserted this image. What they do basically is just superimpose this image onto that screen and then just took a few extra steps and did a nice color job and blended it all together inside the composition. Let's take it to the basics. Let's dive on into something that's actually practical to you using in your own photos or videos. This is gonna be a tutorial on the liquify effect inside Adobe After Effects. Alrighty, wow, look at us. We are in Adobe After Effects. This is so exciting. We have this wicked photo of this ink drop in water and it's all colorful and we're going to even make it more psychedelic than it already is. So buckle up and get ready. So the first thing we're going to do once we have our image inside a composition and our composition is the size we want it, we're going to go over to our effects and presets tab. If you can't see it, go up to window at the top and then just highlight effects and presets and click it. All right. So what we're going to search is the liquify effect. And then all we have to do is just drag it over our layer image. And then you will see that it will open up this repertoire of different tools within the liquify effects controls tab. So you'll see that actually all of these different tools will do different things. For example, we have these little swirly dirlies and we have these wavy davies. Go ahead and click one of the tools and I'll notice right away that my brush isn't quite as big as I want it to be if I want it to affect more. So, there are various different settings we can mess with in order to make the image how we want it. The first thing we want to go to is our turbulent tool options and click on the brush size. We want to make our brush size quite big and you can compare it to how it was by just highlighting it over here. And your brush pressure is going to control how harsh the effect is. So maybe we'll turn it up a little bit. You'll see what we can do with the swirly tool is if we click a whole bunch of times that the image will actually become like a swirly dirly. Once you get your still image how you're liking it, you want to keyframe when exactly you want the effects to take place. If you go under the effects controls panel under the liquify tab again, you'll notice there is a keyframe option under the distortion percentage. We're going to go ahead and make sure our cursor is at the beginning of our clip and we're going to toggle this keyframe on. We're going to set it to 0% and maybe we'll scrub forward about a second, second and a half and set it to 100. So what we're telling the computer is we want the animation to take effect over the course of a second and a half and it's going to create this swirl for us. So let's go ahead and render this out. Wow, look at us. We are making some psychedelic effects. One thing to note is that Liquify takes a lot of processing power. So if your computer isn't quite as fast as you'd like, definitely make sure you close all of the other programs you have running. So if you don't have enough RAM or your processor is pretty slow or graphics card, this might be a little painstaking for you. Go ahead and turn the resolution down by sampling it to maybe a third. The key to making it look good is really taking your time and being creative with what parts of the images move and which parts stay still. If the shot is on a tripod and there's no camera movement, this effect is extremely easy to accomplish. In the Black Mirror episode, they align this type of effect and make it make sense according to how the main character touches the paintings. If you wanted to match up the same effect with movement, you would have to keyframe when you want the effects to happen according to what is taking place in your scene. So for example, when the main character touches the painting with his fingertips, you'd want to start the animation when he's interacting with the actual physical painting, when his fingertips actually touch the canvas. I hope you got some value out of this and I hope that you realize the way you use it is the most important thing. The creativity in which you apply the liquify technique to your footage or still images is really what's going to separate you from others. And as cheesy as it is, truly the only limiter is your imagination. And as always, if this brought value to you, why don't you go ahead and smash that like button. I want complaints that you broke your computer screen or your phone screen, what have you. I 
probably won't pay for it, but it will help me in the YouTube algorithms. Thank you for watching.